Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you after a little bit of a break. Today, Friday the 13th, December. December 13th. For those of you who are uh, superstitious, go back to bed. Uh, for those of you that are not, uh, there's six more trading days left in this year. Uh, obviously, last night was a pretty good one for most of us. Uh, so, number one, we should be thankful for that. And number two, um, let's keep firing away at this year, right? It's been a shitty year, but um, let's keep firing away at it. A lot can change, even in, in five trading days. Um, money comes and fits and starts in these kinds of years. And... If you're really switched on during the uh, correct times, you can make a lot of money very, very quickly. Big vol last night, so uh, let it continue. Uh, we hope it continues. Let's just take a look at the charts uh, and see what's happened here. First and foremost, uh, obviously, here's the sterling chart. There's not much to do here in sterling anymore. Um, the first liquidity last night was um, 132, the figure. Um, and then traded quickly up to 134. If you were quick enough to buy pounds, you could have paid sort of between 130, you know, you could get one or two pounds. Um, between 132 and 132.50, um, but now you should just sell them. I mean, um, our group just sold everything up at 134.50, and a few guys got short at 135. I don't really know what to do with Sterling anymore. That was just a hit and run trade, um, and we were getting long euros through the bingo number there. Uh, at 111.54, so we were we were busy doing some other things as well. Uh, so let's go to this euro chart. Uh, super important day. This uh, trend line here, I put it I put it up on Twitter yesterday. Something like this. No, it's not it. Try this one. This line here came through at 55, 56. Um, so we're long euros. Uh, the 200 day moving average is also 56. Core long euros. Uh, we do think this is going to eventually take out this uh, 111.90 area. We obviously traded to 99 last night. Here's the hourly, uh, as you can see. Didn't quite have the muscle to get through that. Might have been some delta up there at um, at 112, but looking for some consolidation here. You can buy this dip here, so between 68 and 55, you can get long if you missed it. Um, for us, we are rebuying. Um, obviously, the average is pretty good over here, so. Uh, but long, long euro based on that trend line break and break of the 200 day uh, and a whole host of other reasons. We think going into 2020, uh, the first big trade is going to be uh, selling dollars. Anyway, let's look at dollar rand. Tricky little fucker last night, right? We touched 49 and a half. Um, sort of late in the afternoon on on sort of a I would say just stops being cleared so our first set of stops did get cleared with that group um, we lost a little bit of money on that but then we sort of resold core um, at 56 when it looked like the China trade deal was signed uh, we've been as low as 42 uh, core short is the way here 
uh, with Euro higher, with this risk on uh, sort of just tsunami of risk on, right? Brexit is going to get done. Trump and China signed. Whatever you think of what they sign, whether it's worth the paper it was written on, it doesn't matter. Um, people are going to take this as positive. S and P's up at 2183. Um, this is risk on. People are caught. Long dollars are. Uh, core short dollars are the way. You can resell this between 48 and 52 today. Um, but this is more of a tactical trade. To be fair, uh, we're gonna sink our teeth more into the euro side of this sort of risk on but um, short dollars are uh, did eventually pay last night euro yen uh, 121.55 there that was our little bingo number there obviously this just went on the risk on and euro positive flow big big day can't chase it up here if you don't have it uh, and if you don't have it, you just missed it, so just leave it for now. Um, but that was another big, big, big move yesterday. Dollar CAD reminds me a lot of uh, the Dollar Czar. Market is long Dollar CAD, right? Last Friday, a week ago, we had non farms. The U.S. crushed it. Uh, and Canada had one of the worst misses I'd seen in a long time. So. You can obviously see the bar. You guys all remember it. Uh, we traded from uh, 131.70 all the way up to 132.70. People are caught long this. The story is is for higher dollar CAD. Uh, so today when we get proper liquidity, uh, especially when um, the hockey players get in, you want to be short dollar CAD. Uh, so... I think today you want to sell high ones in Europe and then have a strong look at this 50 level as maybe a place to add um, once North America gets in. We don't have any we don't have any catalysts in Europe today, which we're thankful for. Uh, we were up very very late trading last night after a U.S. business trip, so shattered here. Very very tired going to get some rest this morning, uh, fire up the engines again for retail sales this afternoon, um, and the focus is basically uh, on uh, being long euro dollar, short dollar CAD, and short dollar RAND. If you wanted to add to this sort of risk bucket, this uh, Aussie level here is is of interest. We we kind of broke through it, and Aussie's been on a rampage. Oh, excuse me. Yawning. Um, Sixty nine thirty is worth a look. Uh, I think it's more likely to do some sort of consolidation work here. I don't feel like chasing Aussie. Uh, we've been basically straight line from sixty eight eleven, but this all falls into this. Um, US dollar lower, Euro dollar mainly higher, uh, and risk on. That's obviously good for Aussie. Um, and as you can see from the chart, those of you who don't trade Aussie, I know a lot of you do. It's a trendy it's a trendy little fucker, so this could easily just keep keep zipping higher and, and uh, you know, go up to seventy one cents. But it's all kind of the same trade. You got to watch your risk buckets now. If you're short dollar CAD, you're long Aussie and long Euro dollar. It's effectively the same trade. Uh, so be careful. Be careful with that. All right, listen, I've said enough. Um, good trading day out there. Nice to be back on my home turf. Um, and I wish you all well. And I will talk to you on Monday. Ciao, 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 ciao.